so good afternoon students so i will be taking your pharmacy lab introduction class so in this uh, lab you will come to know how different preparations are prepared and the lab in charge of this lab so briefly talking what will be the outlines what i am going to cover is that um i will be talking about the introduction about this lab then the instructions which you have to follow in this lab the precautions you have to keep when you will be coming to this lab what are the important preparations which you are going to prepare in this lab what is posology different instruments you are going to prepare and how to write a prescription or what are the different parts of a prescription all this i am going to take today so pharmacy by definition is art and science of compounding and dispensing the drug so it's not only the science but it also includes the art that means there is certain parameters or beautification in which we are going to dispense or compound a preparation so a drug by the who definition is any substance or product that is used or intended to be used to modify and explore the physiological systems or pathological states for the benefit of the recipients so any substance which modifies the physiological systems or the pathological states is known as drug so what are the instructions and precautions which you are supposed to keep while uh, you are there in this lab there are certain chemicals which are very harmful and may cause chemical burns so for that you need to be very uh, cautious while you are uh, handling them such as iodine phenol potassium permanganate they can cause chemical burns on your hand when you are exposed to that so be very uh, gentle and be uh, do not try to use these chemicals unnecessarily here and there otherwise it can be very harmful for you when you are in the lab you should always wear apron and you clean you should clean your workstation workstation as well as instruments after use what you all are supposed to have when you are coming to this lab is fractional weight box scissors and a pharmacy manual which has been written by professor mohammad nasruddin sir so these are the three three things which you are supposed to take uh, have with you when you are coming to this lab that is pharmacy lab so the pattern of lab living for this exam uh, for your examination is that you have to prepare one preparation you will be having the viva for that preparation 10 marks you will be having a grand viva of 10 marks and then lab manual assessment of 5 marks that means 25 marks and it is a very scoring part of your pre prof as well as your prof examination everyone has to give uh, lab uh, lab test in pharmacy so it is very important lab as for as per your uh, prof and pre prof examination are also concerned so coming to posology posology is the branch of medicine of pharmacy dealing with doses so it is the measurement of uh, of the substances such as 1 teaspoon amounts for 5 ml 1 tablespoon measures 15 ml or there are 16 drops in each ml or one drop constitutes 0.06 ml similarly one cup constitutes 150 ml and one glass roughly around 200 to 250 ml and if i say a pinch of any substance that means we are going to take 0.25 to 0.5 gram of the substance so coming to the different instruments which you use while you are there in the pharmacy lab is first is the dispensing balance on the left you can see is the dispensing balance you see there are two trays one is of steel other the petri dish or the uh, glass uh, is kept over there 
in the in this metallic part you keep the weights which you are going to weight how much amount you uh, you are going to weight and on the and on the uh, right side is uh, is the petri dish in this uh, you keep the substances which you are which you are going to weigh, uh, weigh. because uh, this uh, is not sticky and do not react with the substances on the sec uh, right side that uh, photograph that depicts the me measuring cylinders so two cylinders are there one is the of 100 ml the other measuring cylinder is of 10 ml this is your motor and pestle okay so this this is your motor and this is with which we grind the substances that is the pestle motor and pestle is used to make fine powder of the various substances this is the glass motor and pestle and these are the different uh, this is the fractional weight box to measure 500 200 150 20 likewise small measurements we can uh, weigh using these fractional weight box so this is a, uh, this instrument is a spatula which is used to mix powders on the tile this is a tile and uh, uh, this is used to uh, take out the substances from the from your motor also these are your dispensing bottles and jars there uh, this is the jar these are the different bottles and this is your watch glass watch glass is uh, kept on the balance it uh, on this the chemical substance which you are going to weigh do not stick and do not react so we use watch glass so the very important things which you should know are the different parts of a prescription different preparations which you are going to prepare their definitions such as what is a lotion what is a powder likewise what is liniment then you should know what what are its ingredients and their uses what are the different ingredients of certain preparation you are supposed to know and what are the different action which the, these different constituents are going to have in this preparation and how you are going to prepare this preparation then what does the preparation do or how the preparation is going to act or benefit the recipient and what are the different instruments which you are going to use while preparing this preparation so these set of questions are the common questions which are being asked in the viva also so if you are you if you get a preparation you should know what are, what are what is the prescription what are the different parts of prescription what are, what preparation you have prepared the definition of that preparation what are the different ingredients which you have put in this preparation and what are the uses of these preparation and how you make how this uh, certain uh, you know, preparation acts these are the common questions which are asked in your viva also so pres prescription has got two parts one is it is a medical legal document and it is a written directive by a registered medical practitioner to a pharmacist to compound and or dispense a scientific medicament for a uh, specific medicament for a patient that means it has got medical legal uh, validity and it is a written order or a written directive from the registered medical practitioner so this definition is very important as far as your viva is concerned every time people students are asked with the definition of a prescription so there are two types of pre, uh, prescriptions one is the pre-compounded prescriptions and the other is the compounded one pre-compounded prescriptions are those prescriptions which are being written in the clinicals so in the clinics the prescription written are the pre-compounded because the substances are already manufactured by certain manufacturer or pharmaceutical industry like if i write tablet on kerosene 500 milligram to be taken tds three times a day so these such prescription will then become a pre-compounded prescription the other type of prescription is the compounded prescription which you are going to write in the pharmacy lab 
So in the, uh, these compounded prescription means that means there are certain ingredients which are uh, you will write the direction to the pharmacist. The pharmacist will mix and or will follow the instruction how he uh, or he or she is going to prepare that pre pre uh, preparation and give it to the patient concerned. So such prescription are compounded prescriptions. So this is a typical pharmacy prescription. You see all the things, they, they, uh, there is a certain uh, way or order in which all these things are written. So right here you see the date on the right side, then the diagnosis, then the patient particulars, then a symbol. This is your superscription. And then the different ingredients with the amount has been mentioned. This is the body of the prescription or also known as inscription part. Below this, there, um, there is a line mix and make powder dispense such one packet. So this is a direction to the pharmacist also known as subscription. Then here it is written dissolve the uh, powder in one liter pre-boiled and cool water and take in sip. So this line becomes the line for the patient or direction to the patient. So this is your <coughs> uh, this is your label. Then finally last is the signature where you put your name, your registration number, etc. So coming to the same prescri uh, prescription, this is a prescription of preparation of ORS. So there are two lines which are very important, three lines actually. So for a prescription, very important thing is it should be legible. That means it should be easily readable. All the ingredients are to be written in capital. <coughs> so the first thing which you have to keep in mind that while you write the name, the name should be in the line of the diagnosis and your date should be a bit above, in the line above it. Then this is the patient's line, the patient's detail, the superscription and the label. <coughs> All these things are written in one line because these are concerned to the patient. Then we have the pharmacist line. The pharmacist line, the inscription and the subscription, they are written in this particular line. And this starts from where the superscript ends over here. Okay. So you see, uh, you see all these things are written in one line. All the decimals are to be written in one line and the SI unit are to be taken like for gram it is G. So coming to the different parts of the prescription first and the foremost important thing is the date of the prescription. So it helps us to keep the record. We, uh, we can come to know of the season of the disease, when to call the patient for review. So it carries medical legal importance next is the patient particular so we write the name age sex and the address of the patient so as to contact the patient if we have to recall the patient so it establishes the identity of the patient next is the symbol you see is the superscription and on the right side to the name we write the diagnosis and we never write a sign or a symptom. It's actually the diagnosis. We do not write fever, okay? We have to write the diagnosis over here and we have to use this symbol. It's not that you write over here diagnosis input, you make this time with that represents for diagnosis. Then the superscription is not Rx. It's actually a Latin word with R tail card, which means take the or recipe. After this, where the superscription ends, from there we start with the inscription. And this inscription is the main body of the prescription and it has, the, uh, the there are four parts of this inscription. First is the basis or the main drug. If you compare all the parts of the inscription to a vehicle, to a car, 
suppose so to, for a car to when you switch uh, when you on a car then what is the thing which you need to do you should have a pet, uh, petrol or diesel okay that will a fuel is required so the main fuel is the main drug okay but but just no, uh, right now if you start a car and if you do not put the gear okay or accelerate it the car will not move so for the main drug there are certain adjuvants or the supporting drugs which will increase the activity of the main drug so that compound is known as adjuvant next when you are going on accelerating it accelerating it you you need brakes also to stop that car so that car so the brakes are the corrective agents so they will prevent from any adverse drug reactions so basic and all these things are carried with the vehicle so there are four parts of inscription one is the main drug that is basis then we have the adjuvant then we have the corrective then the vehicle the vehicle do not carry therapeutic effect and it only provides bulk to the preparation so all the things should be written of the inscription should be written in capitals in this the main basic drugs are the sodium chloride potassium chloride and glucose is the adjuvant as it increases the absorption of sodium chloride so through the sodium glucose co-transporters just below the inscription in its continuity is written the subscription and this is the direction to the pharmacist for compounding preparing and dispensing the drug and next is the label which is the direction to the patient it is also written label on the prescription and the uh, and when uh, when we uh, the label we put on the dispensing bottles and the jars are also known as label so for internal use we write take like it is to be taken in sips and for uh, for lotions or ointments we we write apply and for suppository we write insert and for drops we write place and then finally the prescriber identity that is the name the registration number of the patient etc so in the pharmacy lab you have to prepare eight preparations Condi's lotion, Mandel's paint, Whitfield ointment, benzyl benzoate emulsion, oral rehydration powder, calamine lotion, carminative mixture, and the turpentine liniment. So, coming to the first preparation of this lab, that is the Condi's lotion. So, for, for this preparation, you should know what is the definition of a lotion and what are the difference between lotion and liniments why we are going to dispense this preparation in colored bottles and what are the uses of different concentrations of potassium permanganate and what is the difference between an antiseptic disinfectant and sterilization process so if we talk about lotions so lotions are medical preparations which are aqueous suspensions or solutions and they are intended to be applied externally for medical or the cosmetic purpose so lotions are meant for external applications so if we talk of lotion and the liniments so the main vehicle in lotion is aqueous while in liniment it is non aqueous it has a liniments do have a greasy base lotions are to be applied without friction while liniments they are generally applied they are applied with friction or rubbing glycerin is added to preparations to prolong the contact period while alcohol quickly evaporates and dries the surfaces so what is a condis lotion condis lotion condis lotion is a solution of potassium permanganate in water in a ratio of 1 is to 4000 to 1 is to 10000 
so not all the preparations of uh, potassium permanganate in water are condensed lotion it should be in a range of 1 is to 4000 to 1 is to 10000 that means this concentration is required for a lotion, uh, solution to be known as condensed lotion antiseptics are drugs which are applied on living tissues for killing or inhibiting growth of bacteria while disinfectants are applied on the non living objects to kill the microorganism but disinfectants do not kill the spores or the plants and the sterilization process kills all form of microbial life on a, on a given on the given object so this is your um, today's pre uh, prescription which you are uh, which you were supposed to prepare in this lab um, but you should know what basically you are going to do what what the thing is how you are going to prepare the condensed lotion so the exercise is that you have to prepare a 20 ml of condensed lotion with a ratio of 1 is to 8000 okay and this is to be used in uh, foot ulcer for irrigation purpose so you mix 100 milligram of potassium permanganate in 100 ml of water and make a stock solution so this 100 milligram in 100 ml will constitute your stock solution then what you have to do is mix one part of the stock solution with seven parts of water to prepare one is to 8000 solution and this is your condensed lotion and then the level is the direction to the patient he has to wash the wound with Condis lotion three times a day. So, and then you put this label on the dispensing bottle. You write on the top first, you write the preparation which you are giving, that is the Condis lotion. And then you also, then you write the patient name, age, sex, dose, date, direction of use. That means you will write that it is to be used three times over the footal ulcer area okay so the, how you paste this label this label is pasted on the bottle and the middle part of this label coincides from the neck of, of uh, in that uh, bottle you divide from the shoulder to the bottom in three equal parts and the middle of this label will coincide with the upper third and the low, lower two third junction and that is how we paste this label over the dispensing bottle these are the different concentrations of potassium permanganate in water so how this potassium permanganate solution is going to act it acts by acts an oxidizing agent it liberates nascent oxygen and that kills the bacteria by oxidizing the protoplasm of the bacteria so a solution of 0.2 to 0.5 percent is used for gastric lavage in alkaline poisoning such as morphine phosphorus strychnine poisoning and a solution of 1 is to 1000 is used for sterilization of instrument washing clothes 1 is to 4000 for vaginal and the urethral irrigation 1 is to 4000 5000 for gargles and mouthwashes it is an effective algicide in 0.01 percent and virucide in one percent and con higher concentration it can lead to the irritation of the tissues how you are going to prepare this one is to eight thousand concentration of condis lotion 20 ml so what you do as you have seen in the prescription you are going to mix 100 milligram of potassium permanganate in 100 ml of water what you do you first take the 100 milligram of potassium permanganate crystals then you finally crush it in the mortar and crystal then you add 20 ml of water or say 50 ml of water to it and mix it and transfer this solution in the measuring cylinder 100 ml uh, measuring cylinder you take then you add water to up to 100 ml so this will give you the stock solution and the stock solution this 100 milligram in 100 ml of water is a solution of 1 is to 1000 this 1 is to 1000 is 1 gram per 1000 ml okay 
so uh, only the stock solution is provided to you that means in when you are in the lab this stock solution for all the students are already prepared you have to mix one part of the stock solution with seven parts of water to prepare one is to eight thousand solution since you have, you require one is to eight thousand so you will mix one part of this stock that is one is to one thousand solution with seven parts of water if i say you prepare one is to one one is to five thousand solution of condis lotion what you will do you will take one part of the stock solution and four parts of water you add you will get one is to five thousand solution and vice versa if i say one is to seven thousand solution of condis lotion you will take one part of stock solution and you will add six parts of water that will give you one is to seven thousand solution and you have to dispense this in a dark bot dark colored bottle with red cap and label it so uh, how coming to the calculation how we are getting these ratios so when we mix 100 mg of uh, potassium permanganate in 100 ml of water so that means if we convert it in gram per ml that means 0.1 gram in 100 ml or simply 1 gram in 1000 ml so that means when we are mixing 100 mg in 100 ml that means we are actually preparing a 1 is to 1000 that is 1 gram in 1000 ml solution so our stock solution is have carrying this carrying this strength that is 1 is to 1000 so how why uh, then uh, if uh, then we want to okay then we want to get a solution a concentration of one is to a eight thousand so we have to dilute the stock solution eight times that means if we have to get one is to eight thousand we have to uh, dilute it eight times so how uh, how we are going to do that will we add eight parts of water or seven parts of water if we add eight parts of water to one part of stock, sol stock solution, then the total water would become nine parts. That means that the dilution will become nine times. Therefore, we have to add seven parts of water to one part of stock solution to make eight parts. That means eight times dilution. So from where we will get this one part? How we come to know what, what is the volume of one part? So for that, since we are going to prepare 20 ml so we will divide 20 by 8 that means 2.5 so our one part becomes 2.5 ml so one part of stock solution is 2.5 ml and what is the seven parts that means we have to multiply 2.5 into 7 that is 17.5 ml of water so what we will do we will take 2.5 ml of stock solution and we will add 17.5 ml of water so that we get exactly that is 20 ml of condis lotion then there are certain precautions we, which you have to follow potassium permanganate is an oxidizing agent and it causes chemical burn it oxidizes the skin and so you have to be sure that you do not touch potassium permanganate crystals and you use glass and mortar and pestle while making this preparation and dark colored bottles are to be used for dispensing this uh, preparation as light can decompose potassium permanganate and you we cover it with the red colored cap red cap indicates that the preparation is meant for external use only thank you